Why? Walking down the street here is no longer an option. And when I went to get my cell phones, <clears throat> excuse me, it was verified once again. I don't have to say this publicly any longer. And two, keep saying publicly what goes on here is now becoming self-degradation. I have too much respect for myself as a woman and as a human to keep saying the same things. What one would do, to my best knowledge, at the point I'm at with what I am experiencing in the United States is to just catch a cab there and catch a cab back. There's no point anymore to publishing any of this. Yes, he runs around. He was really scary that day. And says, they missed their shot! Like country dude. He's a country pumpkin. But this is stuff I would say off whatever the word, not in statement for the cops. He's country. Like, he comes up. It's so fucking scary what I experience. I don't need to publish this anymore. It's degrading to myself. And it was so loud, and he viciously screams it. They missed their shot! Uh, and I just, all I knew was get the fuck up the stairs. No! Then he goes to the door, slams it, something about the door, blah, blah, blah. At this point, there is no reason to walk down the street here and go through that shit because I know what I'm experiencing, what I witness, and what I have lived through. I know what they're doing when I go out around them. I do not ever again have to go through this and say this and do this. This is sick. What I will do as a self-respecting human being is catch a cab there and back. Limit the exposure I have to this kind of humans here. The kind of people here are very fucking sick and evil. I don't have to state this or argue the case. That's so grading and I need to make sure that when I come back here I get the fuck upstairs safe because I've heard so many motherfuckers drop in this fucking house I don't have to say this anymore this is so fucking serious what these fucking people are doing here I don't have to say it anymore the fact that they have made WMDs that much on Instagram is historical. I'm wrapped up in some sort of shit that I don't understand a lot of the times. It's over my head. It has to do with Putin, two presidents here, all the gamut, okay? I went to bed last night and I was like, I don't want my name in a headline with these fuckers. Why did they fucking move me in and involve me in their scandal and their downfall? I don't, I mean, I type it short, okay, that's one thing. But to be in the news story with these fuckers is not something I really wanted. I, I could explain it another time if you don't quite have insight to what I'm saying. 
I don't need it or want it, dude. What I want is to go like recluse on a nice little cottage somewhere. That is not someone who wants to be in the papers. I, I gotta say thank you to the men and women in the military. Okay, I gotta say thank you to them. Um, and I'm just gonna go to that fucking store and back and I'm not gonna put myself through any of the garbage, swine, vile crap at all anymore. And I'm gonna make sure I get fucking back up here safe. That is all I must do anymore. Lastly, I don't know how long this is gonna last, this fucking shit, okay? I just know to do yoga, do something, do, do Tai Chi, do motherfucking something. Breathe, breathe, and just stop. Stop trying to understand what the f fuck, all right? Because cities like this, to my best understanding, got bombed in Baghdad by the U.S. But that was really complicated to say that because I know, okay, I can't speak very well because I'm so traumatized. But it's still there in the law, whatever the word. You can't make chemical fucking weapons. Blah, blah. I can't do this anymore. And it's been proven here. If a country does that, then they legally can be bombed. And this president, he's not a president because he's been proven. I can't explain all this. It's too much for me, okay? But the U.S. government is involving themselves with conflict with Russia. And the WMDs, it's, it's not something I probably should get into right now, that they're making here. There's military people from the US, right? The US, that these people here and however this works is for the agents, I kept telling you that. But anyways, this crew here targets those people in the U.S. military. This is not for me, dude. Do you hear and see how I am? And this town is so fucking pissed at me. You should see what they fucking do when they take the garbage out. This is serious motherfucking business here. Everything is for the fucking TV. They got some sort of whatever the word <clears throat> if they keep running TV stuff I don't, I'm out of this I'm so out of this because it's too scary for me here my job is to breathe find some way to do it dude like you know the yoga stuff that's what it's really for is the breathing stuff that I'm supposed to do a little bit of the physical because I'm trapped in here dude <laughs> it's really fucking dangerous. Nobody argues or questions that, I know. I gotta take care of myself at this point. That's what a self-respecting human being would do. They wouldn't go deal with these sickos in this town that are so angry and hateful at me personally. That's a really bad statement that they're making, but they see no shame in it. And it frightens me and it freaks me out. And it has for a long time, which is all on historical record. I documented it all. As a self-respecting human being, I'm gonna get the fuck to the store get back 
and get the fuck back up here safely. That's all I'm expected to do. I'm not expected anymore to keep going over the same material, pleading and begging Americans to please help, have empathy, or see the truth right in front of them. They don't want to. My conclusion, my thesis, my hypothesis is because the Americans want material objects and sex, which they're perverted now. It's psychological perversion. It's a whole nother can of worms. The Americans want these things so bad they're blind to the truth. These are dangerous people. They cannot, as a country, have WMDs. For one, they're making them in their bedrooms now. But the, whoever's, I can't do this anymore. We have to stop. I am not fit for this right now. No. Don't make me president, please. No. I mean, that's kind of a practical joke. If I have to do it for legal reasons, whatever, because I'm not a JAG attorney. All right, fine, but you know better than that. Right now, I need rest and a lot of sleep. I get a lot of sleep, but I need some time off. I've been doing this five years. Five years. I need a little bit of time off. You need to find one of your generals to be president, and that's what I told you five years and running, is that you're the presidents, and you know that. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm going to just cut this video short. I'm going to get to the store. I'm going to come back. I'm not going to expose myself to really horrifying fucking people. They all came here. This is something true. They all came here. There's a scary motherfuckers that came here. Yep. And they all, it's like a scene, a social club. This is fucking serious. They're putting human remains into their sewer system and going dancing. That's the social motherfucking club, folks. This is why, this is why, this is what I'm saying, dude. Breathe, Heidi. You're in a really dangerous city. There's military that know that, mama. And you're with a dude that you need to run away from. He's so fucking dangerous that comes up from the basement. Your job is to get to the damn store and get back up in here. That is it. And in the meantime, when you're freaking out, do some Eastern breathing techniques. That is all I'm expected to do. No more of this pleading and begging people to see the motherfucking truth. This is so fucking horrible what's going on in America. Bye.